something has picked up my bait. It's just a pull on this line. I've got something taking line now. Let's pause now. The exact moment to set the hook with a gar is hard to judge. Yeah, wait a minute. Too soon, and it'll drop the bait because it's only holding it lightly in its mouth. Too late, and it'll swallow the hook. Yeah, yeah. This makes it like no other fish. Timing is everything. Yeah, I think, I know. I've tried setting the hook too soon. I bait and recast immediately. Maybe the same fish has come back for more, as I get another bite almost immediately. Yeah, this one's going, this one's going, this one's going. Oh. Feels good, it's... There we go, that's it, that's it, that's the fish, that's the fish there. There's still a risk it could spit the hook out, so Eddie snags it with a lasso. This one is four and a half feet long. I've been bitten before, so I'm taking no chances with this gar's teeth. I'm wearing Kevlar gloves for protection. Having a closer look, I think the alligator gar is far from ugly. In fact, its ancient design is actually quite beautiful. Interesting mark on here. It looks like this has actually been attacked by an alligator at some point. That's an indication of the strength of this gar's armor. It can withstand being attacked by a large alligator and still carry on as normal. It's not a bad start, but I'm looking for a monster. Ah! That's what I like to see, fish going back. Nice and lively. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.